I have a friend, let's call her Betsy, who contradicts every word I say. If I say, how about that baseball game last night? She says, oh, I never watch baseball. If I comment that it's hot out, she says, the heat never bothers me. If I say so-and-so at work is giving me a hard time, she defends the person and explains why I'm foolish to be upset. If I say I'm going to a restaurant, she says, oh, that place is terrible. I've tried not talking when I'm around her, but she's also pretty intrusive. She asks a lot of questions and demands to know what I'm doing. And then when I say something, boom, she contradicts me again. It's frustrating. And I hate to avoid her because she's going through some hard times and really needs a friend. How can I interact with her in a productive way so that I don't feel so drained and exhausted by every encounter? Or do I need to just write off this relationship? It's obvious that Betsy is very empty. And when she intrudes in people's lives and when she contradicts them, she briefly feels important and powerful. She is almost certainly unaware that she's doing this. And if you were to point it out, you can bet that she would be offended. You will become much less frustrated by Betsy's behavior when you see that the problem here isn't her behavior, but your expectations of her. We never become disappointed or annoyed with a person or situation unless we first had expectations. You wish that Betsy could be a better listener and a better friend to you than she is. You wish she weren't such a drag in your life. The moment we expect another person to be more considerate or less selfish or whatever, we're really expressing an expectation for at least a morsel of real love from that person. But the moment we bring expectations into a relationship, we ruin it. If I have expectations that you will behave a certain way, I'll be constantly disappointed when you don't give me what I want. And you'll feel the burden of my expectations. Nobody likes that burden. Expectations are the kiss of death in a relationship. So, how can you eliminate your expectations and thereby change the way you feel toward this woman? First, you need to see that she's drowning. She has nothing to give you. It's obvious that she's empty, so don't expect anything but emptiness. Second, realize that you are drowning too. You must be, or you wouldn't be expecting this woman to be less draining on you. So now, without expectations, what can you do? Oh, a lot. Now the solution is twofold. First, you get all the real love you can in your life from other people, not from Betsy. Then you spend as much time and give as much love to Betsy as you choose. As you feel more loved by others, you'll find that Betsy is less draining and you'll be able to love her better. But spend time with her and love her as much as you can, as much as you're able. We spend so much of our lives doing things out of obligation or guilt. And in the process, we utterly drain ourselves. And then we're no good to anybody. And we're not giving real love. We're just filling a duty. We're not even helping the people we're with at the time. So remember that it's always about real love. Learn about it, find it, and then share it with Betsy and other people in your life as you grow in your ability to do that and as you choose to, not as you feel obligated to, and you'll enjoy your life a great deal more.